Lexi. Lexi. Hi. I'm back. On my vlog. This week we're in Nashville, Tennessee. We're off to do another AEW Dynamite Live and an AEW Rampage taping. Then, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'll be honest, this is a short trip for me this week, so we'll try to pack it with all kinds of guests, but I do not know who is going to show. So it's going to be a surprise to you and it's going to be a surprise to me. Hopefully, it's filled with things and not nothing at all because I wouldn't have much of a vlog at that point. Here's hoping. Yo, you just went like whole slow motion, son. Pepper, hey, we've done it. You're back. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to talk movies. This time you initiated. I requested. Uh, you requested that we talk about I'm it. Excited to talk about a movie, mm -hmm. but I can't say too much. Okay. Uh, okay. It's called Bloody Hell. Mm -hmm. It just came out recently. I uh, we rented it on Amazon Prime for a couple bucks to watch it. I don't want to say a lot because it's one of those movies where it starts off as one movie and then it goes in a completely different direction yeah. and turns into another movie. You were telling me it kind of like Dust Till Dawn, it like to expect, not not yeah, to expect not, that, but like- Not that it's vampires. It'll, it'll veer away from what you just, think it yeah, is. Yeah, you know, from Dust Till Dawn, you're watching it and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, there's, if you didn't know, like, oh, there, now it's a vampire movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, it just, the movie goes from one thing to another. It's called Bloody Hell. Mm -hmm. Try to go into it blind if you can. I, I will probably. Even yeah. like, we started watching the trailer. Mm -hmm. I had a friend tell me about it. And I, as we were watching the trailer, I was like, you know what, just turn it off because I don't want to see yes. anything. And that's, it's... I mean, we've talked about this before too, but a lot of the more recent trailers for recent movies will just give you the whole plot, yeah, very, which I hate very personally, much so. do not like. And uh, it, it's horror, but yeah. lately I've been, it's, you know, it's low budget, it's hokey at times, it, but it's, it's really, it's really unpredictable, which I really like. Mm -hmm. There's good gore and it's just it's it's great, man. You got a great batting average for suggestions to me. Really? I, so 
Incoherence, which I absolutely loved, oh, yeah. which you suggested to me, which was an all, and also when you told me like, hey, go in not knowing anything. That, Perfect. That one, maybe even more so. Yeah. Uh, Psycho Garmin, you told me nothing Super about. It. You said just go in blind. Yeah. Well worth it. So I will be watching for sure. And then you just said, uh, didn't you just watch Willie's Wonderland? Yeah. So on my end, yeah, I just watched Willie's Wonderland, which I think is actually what you suggested last time I in our so. videos. Uh, and I loved it. Nicholas Cage being not mascot. Yeah. It was. I was honestly a little scared at first because I knew it was like, oh, he's like a non-speaking role. Yeah. But man, is it ever fun. Yeah. It's, it is it's, a fun it's one. Very fun, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I watched Tusk as well recently, you were, you were, and I did not like it. As yeah. well. Not nearly as much. I liked Tusk, but I mean, yeah, if you didn't, I could completely understand why. Yeah, <laughs> so, I was. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. I knew quiet, what it was about. The quiet taste. Yes, yeah. I knew what it was about. And I knew it was a Kevin Smith movie, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get over the fact that it was just like a lot of conversation yeah. for. What I should have known was going to be like a, a comedic horror punchline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's... Uh, and it's also, it's Canadian, isn't it, pretty much? I, I believe think, it's cause I think filmed when, in Canada, I, I think. I think it's filmed in Canada, but I think even in the movie, when he went to go find the guy... Yes, it's it in, in Toronto. Canada. It's like was outside it? of Toronto like or something. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he takes like a, a long drive, and that's why they he, like he's in the middle, middle of nowhere, nowhere, and they can't access yeah. it. I enjoyed stuff. Tusk. Who don't know so much? Well, hey, <laughs> you can make your own uh, opinions if you would like uh, vlog people. But uh, yeah, I will definitely watch uh, Bloody Hell and I will report to you uh, next week. Let me know, man. Perfect. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Grayson here, the vlog section, and it is now time for gym discovery with Stu, and I'm Stu. I am not in my hotel room in Nashville right now. I mean, clearly. Look around you. I'm in a car. Also, the car is not in Nashville. That's that's an, it's pretty important, I guess, because, well, I couldn't make it this week to Dynamite, and I'm stuck home. I'm in stuck home. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to discover a gym in my hometown, so gym discovery is still on. That's right. Let's go. All right, I'm just outside the gym. I am now going in the gym, locking the door, and ooh, okay, this is gonna be nice. It's looking pretty big, it's looking pretty big, but dang, look at that. Boom, there's a wrestling ring. Hell yeah, I knew the guy had a pretty good gym. I had just never seen it yet, but there it is. I did a good thing by contacting my friend. Look at that, we got, we got free weights a bunch, free weights. A bunch of benches. Look at that. Benches, an actual bench press. We got a Smith machine. We got a squat rack. 
We got cardio machine. We got a calf machine. We got cable machine, bunch of mirrors. We got one of those. I do everything type of machine. And hell yeah, we got a boxing bag. That is very good. I, it's like all my favorite machines are in that gym. That's crazy. This, this is gonna be an awesome gym. I can't believe it. This is so good. And I am such a good actor. This is my gym. My gym. Of course I like it. I built it myself. I totally got you. I am an actor. A great one at that. I'm like up there with Leo and Denzel Washington. That's how good I am. You believed it. Don't you try to, to deny it. I am a great actor. Great. This gym is actually my gym. This is Evil Luno and Sue Grayson's wrestling school, The Keep. This is where we do things. This is where I have built this beautiful body that you see right now. Oh, you don't. You don't actually see it, but whatever. You get the point. So welcome in the keep. Welcome in my house. It's time for a kick-ass workout because this gym is freaking awesome. Let's go. Perfect. What's fun about having a ring with your actual gym to work out is that every now and then you can do this. This is by far my favorite post-workout cardio. Four rounds of two minutes, 60 second break in between. This round is a combination of two jab and one hook. That's it, looks like that. Well, well, what a surprise. I had a really good workout and that gym is awesome. What? Well, I never saw that coming. Of course I did. Again, you got played. I am an actor. Remember? An actor. Anyway, even though this gym is awesome and it has mostly everything I want, I can only give my own gym. A four stew out of five. Why? Why? Why stew? Why? Come on, you, you're so hard on yourself. I am not. I'm just honest. Truth is, I do not have enough plates. I have about 350 pounds of plates. I would need another at least 300 pounds to really have everything I want. My dumbbells goes up to 90. I really wouldn't mind going it up to 120. And, you know, there's... Leg press would be nice, but then if I get a leg press, I'm going to need another 800 pounds of plates. So I really like this gym. I really, really do. But it's not perfect. Not yet. There's more to come. I mean, hey, I built this second floor, that little kitchen over there, the bathroom, the locker room. Yeah, I built it all. I built it all. Want to know why? Because I'm not just a hot piece of shit, guys. You see this? It's not all I am. I also have a loving personality. Wait, did I say loving? I meant to say violent. But I'm also a handyman. I built stuff. Yeah. I am very useful. Sometimes. 
Anyway, who know, just wherever you are, which is probably in Nashville, just having fun at Dynamite and whatever, screw you. Do your vlog stuff, bye. Leva! Hi! Hello, how are you? What's up? Where's the camera? There you go. It's are. right over here, <laughs> right there. I'm looking at the wrong thing, I'm like, hi, what's yeah. going on? I'm, I'm terrible at so, by now you would think I'd be good at vlogging, but I still don't know where I'm supposed to look. I always end up looking at the big red button, which is completely off, yeah. and it's down here on this little green light. Right there. Oh, it's not even the green light? No, the green light just, like, I think it's your point of view, but this is the actual camera. Oh my god, we I don't know anything. Well, I've just learned a new thing today. We're not supposed to talk about vlogging and cameras, we're supposed to talk about video games right I mean, now. we can talk about whatever you we want. Do, honestly, we honestly that. That's the beauty of vlogging. Truthfully, I don't have to talk about anything. We can talk about catering if you want. They've got lasagna. You should try the lasagna. Ooh, I it's do good. Love, I do love a mean lasagna. Well, it's that's a mean one for sure. Okay. A very uh, mean what, lasagna. What was your thoughts on the enchilada stuff? Ah, uh, uh, the the vegan one from earlier. Uh, I, it was okay. You had a vegan one. Was there a non-vegan one? Yeah. I mean, they have like, well, you have to make it yourself, but they have like. Oh, you can add into it yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you add okay. meat, like I got the chicken and then I got the shrimp. Oh, I actually thought the shrimp was kind of weird. Like, I kind of asked Jake Manning, I'm like, is the shrimp undercooked? And he's like, I don't think so. So I ate the shrimp, but we we have it fairly regularly here. It was not the best time okay, as far as right? shrimp. Okay. Yeah. I don't but know what it was. was it might have just been what it was cooked into. But the, yeah, the chicken was actually very good. And then I had the wrap and then they had some avocado sauce. Mm -hmm. That was good. Show you the avocado. black beans are very good. Yeah. I like and the black beans. And then with the rice, the yeah. rice. So. I, the, the rice, I was a little underwhelmed, but that, that's me. You put it in the enchilada. You know, yeah, that's it. Once you mix it up, it's all the same. Yeah. Throw it up. I hope people are really interested in what we eat because. Ah, you know what? They probably don't have any idea of what like, catering is like. So, yes. If you want to see what we regularly eat, let me know in the comments down below and I will break all the rules and do it anyway. <laughs> the thing is, though, like, my thing is, they have stuff at catering that I would not normally eat. Like on my own, because what I've been trying to do, you've been trying to eat better, healthier, trying to, you know, get rid of some of that COVID weight, right? So I don't keep a lot of stuff in my house. But you come here and it's everything, mm -hmm. all good and bad. Yeah, we have a whole table full of cakes. Oh, I can god. see it from here. It taunts me every week. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they're all good. Yeah, There's yeah. not a bad cake in there. Banana and uh, yes. peanut butter is my go-to, like sweets. Yep. The banana up like it was like not good on the, like, on the interior part of the banana mm -hmm. so i kind of threw it away and ate a bag of m&ms hey hey at least you here's the one thing you can tell about bagged m&ms they're never bad they're always good exactly. you can guarantee they're good all right let's give them a little tidbit into what we're playing at least so i can feel like i've done my due diligence and i want to know what have you been playing actively nowadays okay uh i am currently playing the Ruined King, mm -hmm. uh, League of Legends story. It is a RPG on the Nintendo Switch. Did you watch the uh, Netflix show too? Yes. How was that? Amazing. Very good. Arcane, Amazing. right? I think that's what it's I called. I used to cosplay wrestle as Jinx. Yep. Uh, so I was, I had to watch it. That was like, it's part of like, that. It, it, it would be sacrilegious if I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. So, but it was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, very much so that it got me back into League of Legends big time. And then I found out there was a app game called Wild Rift, oh. which is what I play all the time on my free time on my phone. But it's not to do with your dealing, I'm supposed to be working. But I'm like, I got 10 minutes, because what I like about Wild Rift compared to regular League of Legends on the PC, a League of Legends game is about like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how hard the team mm -hmm. you're playing, whether you're playing AI. Or is this, or, you can pop it in and out very yeah. quickly. Yeah, whereas Wild Rift can probably get in and out within 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's boom. Which honestly, with our lives being so hectic, I need a game that I can get in and out fairly yeah. quickly, most so, of the time. So yeah, I've been, I've been playing Ruin King, Wild Rift, League of Legends. So I'm very League of Legends heavy right now. Mm -hmm. um, still playing Persona 5, but I haven't even touched it in several, like... Do you know how far you're into it? I am... I just finished the palace with uh, Futaba. The, the, oh, you're the, not the too Egyptian bad. I think you've got you've got two left. I think. I've got... So like the Egyptian thing. Yeah, yeah. So, man, it's heavy. Yes, <laughs> it, it's heavy there's some hit. There's thing, it touches like, into subjects that you did not you would not you anticipate. Like, oh. Do you ever really? play the previous Persona games? I've never played four, but someone told me four is the heaviest game of all time. Really? Yeah, it's about like murder and suicide and like all kinds of stuff. 
you know what? I, I would have to almost, I would like to research that. Because I feel like, what about uh, a life plus ordinary? I feel like that's a super heavy gauge. That was as well? That was as well? And there was another one, like like heavier paint, dude. Like that's a heavy game too. Like, All those Dangan, you ever play Dangan Rampa? Oh wait, we've talked about yes, this. Yes. Those games are pretty heavy as well. Longer. Yeah, I hope they make a new Dangan okay, Rampa. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm I, sure they will. Oh, I did start another uh, visual novel game called okay. Caller and Malice. I started it on my Twitch stream. Oh, I've never heard it. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's new. No. But it, I, it's like a, I think a Japanese game they ported to uh, Nintendo Switch now. Okay. Basically, it's, it's kind of dark and heavy too. They put a collar on this, on this, on you. And you have to work with these detectives to find out who these bad guys are that are murdering all the cops and stuff. But if you like tell the wrong people to see what's going on, they'll murder yeah. you. So it, it's really kind of That's pretty up. cool. It's pretty cool. That's, That's why it's cool. called Collar and Palace because you're stuck in the collar. It makes a ton of sense. It makes so a ton of cool. sense. Uh, on my end, I've been playing uh, a lot of PlayStation 5 games. I've been playing um, Dying Light 2. It's a zombie free running game. Okay. It's uh, been enjoyable. I've been playing that with some friends. And then I've been playing uh, Sifu. Have you heard of Sifu? You know, Mia yeah, yeah, plays that all the time. She, she's like, you gotta play Sifu with me. I'm like, am I allowed to play Sifu with you? Is it one of those that you can play? It's a one player game. Yeah. yeah there is no multiplayer, to, unfortunately. How am I supposed to play that with her? Maybe just watch her play is what maybe? she's asking. Or oh, play your, maybe, maybe she wants to watch you play. play. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I don't know. She's like, you gotta play Sifu. Okay. It's a good time. It's a good time. If you like a challenging game. Does it stand for something? I don't know, truthfully. But uh, yeah, that's what I... I keep thinking people say seafood. Yes, I've been, I actually got caught doing that this week where someone was like, what do you mean you're playing seafood? <laughs> uh, no, seafood. S-I-F-U. S -I -F -U. They face these clams and together they <laughs> yeah. fight the shrimp. That's, I would play that game. I would genuinely <laughs> play that game. Crab wins it all, though. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thanks, Lima, for your time talking catering and video games. Uh, yeah. And uh, and uh, hopefully uh, the people enjoyed it because I think catering is going to end up being a constant now from now on. All right. Well, bye bye. Bye guys. Uh, I'm back from Nashville. And also, uh, I, I purchased a Dustin Rhodes figurine. Good old Dustin Rhodes. What's that? Well, Mrs. Uno purchased it for me. Yes, correct. I did not purchase it. Mrs. Uno purchased it for me. She knows Dustin Rhodes, one of my favorites. Absolute favorites. I'm back from Nashville here for uh, uh, about a weekend before I go right back to work next week to Bridgeport, Connecticut next week. Never been to Bridgeport. Uh, I've been to Connecticut a whole lot of times, but never ever Bridgeport. That'll be a first for us. Not quite sure what we'll be doing next week, but do join us. Do subscribe to this channel. You can hit that follow button, that subscription button down below, youtube.com slash TV, and come back next week for another edition of the Evil Uno vlog. I will nod you off and I will go feed Lex the cat because he's meowing outside. Bye-bye.